Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are now on mission number three and this is the first choice between peaceful and military campaign. What do we have here? We have Capua, a peaceful province and Tarentum, a slightly dangerous province. So I think for today we are going to be going through Capua. So let's go ahead and get that started. Caesar is at today's gladiator tournament and is unable to see you himself. He has asked me, his proconsul for Roma, to brief you on your next assignment. Now that you have proven your skills, you are to found a small city just south of Rome. To build the city up to a modest level, you must provide more goods and services than you have achieved thus far. Plan carefully. Rome's Senate expects a good return on the starting money it entrusts to you. Your new province is rich in resources. Set up industries and trade routes and export goods to earn the extra funds that you will need. Make sure your citizens pay their taxes too. You should construct a dock so that you can trade overseas. Build the dock on the river with the flotsam and make sure that it has a warehouse nearby to store exports and accept any imports. Trade ships will approach your dock when you open a sea trade route and tell your trade advisor which goods to buy and sell. Like most buildings, the dock needs road access to labour. Caesar's expectations for you are not excessive. He will rate your performance in five categories. Peace, prosperity, culture, favour and overall population size but the goals he has set you are rather low. Anything else that he asks of you should easily be within your power to provide. He will be particularly pleased if you fulfill his requests promptly. Oh, and a word of caution. Heed carefully any reports of worsening mood among your citizens. Your people will not forgive much just because of your newness to governing. If your city has high taxes, low wages, little food, or lots of unemployment, it will be hard to attract immigrants, and citizens might turn to crime. Your advisors are always available with help and advice. A large part of the secret to good governance lies in using all of the information at your disposal. Whenever things aren't going as expected, take the time to find out why, and learn how to correct the problem. Capua is under no military threat, so your management skills alone will ensure your success. Well, all right, we are here on mission number three in the peaceful campaign, Capua, as he says, your first colony. So it's, um, you know, easy enough ratings here. Let's go ahead to the city and get things started. All right, uh, which map is this? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Caesar 3, our replay of the campaign. Now, we are not reusing any blocks throughout this playthrough, so we cannot use a 9x9. So, what do we actually have here? We don't have military buildings, so I suppose what I could do is... Uh, I could do a sort of U design or something. We'll, we'll see how it works. So what are, what are our, our trade options on this map? We are here, Capua. Oh, they, we can sell pottery, we can sell oil furniture, depending on what we can produce. We can clay pit, timber yard, okay, under uh, farms, wheat, fruit, olive. So we can produce all of this stuff. We can produce all of this. All right, so how do I want to do this? These trees are sort of kind of in the way. Uh, I think I'll build here, yeah? I'm just gonna deforest this whole area. We're gonna just clear this out. We don't need any of this. Now, let's, let's do a block design that is something different, shall we? Uh, do I go straight line? Do I do... you know what? There's no gatehouses, so we can't use that. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's make sure things are slowed down so I'm not wasting time here. If I go five, six, and then, ooh, if I try some destination walker stuff, that might actually be interesting. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Or maybe I should just do a rectangle block on this one, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And we'll go sixteen. As long as it's not a nine by nine. As long as it's not a nine by nine. Now we do need a road coming out, which is gonna connect to a granary. So let's get things set up first. Uh, I'm gonna need houses on this side. Let's get that there. We're gonna need houses on this side. Place the houses split up first. And we're gonna put the granary right here. We're gonna need a source of income. So this road's gonna come out you know what, let's have this... Uh, yeah, that should be fine. That's gonna come out that way. And we need to make sure things are protected. We're gonna need to make sure we have farms, wheat, fruit, olives. You know what, let's go fruit. We always go default wheat, let's go fruit. Can I build a, it in a line here? I can, let's do... One, two, three. Three fruit farms coming down this way. And we will have room for more if so required. I'll clear this up, have this road come down this way. And we can have, that shouldn't be too far. Prefecture and engineer's post. One, two, three, yeah. Prefecture, engineer's post. Okay. People are moving in. We can speed things up a bit here. Too few people, not a problem. Uh, reservoir, yes, we do need a reservoir. So let's do that. Ah, oh, look at this magic trick here. <laughs> that should be okay, right? That should reach. If I do that. Fountains. What's the reach of that? I'm not too sure. Uh, that is... Could do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That should reach everything, I think. Ooh, that's almost reaching there. You know what? Let's prioritize water. That is always the most important here. And prefectures and engineering are the most important. We'll get all those going. Let's get some houses down, shall we? Just a big row of houses. That should do. Could have a big row of houses right there too. So those two houses can't quite reach water. That's fine. We'll just shift that over a little bit like that. And the middle can be filled up with gardens. And this, we're gonna need one more fountain right here. Is there a middle to this? I think there is, if I do that instead. That looks good. Okay, people are gonna be moving in. These houses have moved in. Uh, I'm not sure if... Oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. If these walkers walk this way, it can be a bit unstable, so I'm gonna put a couple houses there. If you didn't know, these brown walkers need to pass a house to actually get proper access. So it can be a little tricky. Uh, a more efficient way of doing this might actually be if I turn this into a loop, instead. One, two, three. And have this loop round like that. And if I just clear off all of this, and I have the prefecture and engineer's post like this, this loop can fit a lot of farms and still access this. That That's so much better. That's so much better. <coughs> I don't know what just got in my throat. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Let me drink some refreshing coffee to wash that down. And here, we're streaming this on Twitch live right now, if you're interested. Uh, we just hit 125 live viewers, that is amazing. Just in case you guys are just tuning in and don't know, I have not crossed 100 live viewers since the launch of Civ 6. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, the farms are finally going, people are going to be moving in here. Everything's looking okay. Uh, fire, damage. I think I'm gonna need... Did I not put an engineer's post over here? <laughs> and we're gonna probably need 
another couple just to be safe. Uh, I'll put it here. Prefecture, engineer's post. So now we gotta think about our industry, which I'm looking over on this side. I think I'm gonna break that road there. We're gonna clear off these trees here. Keep a nice little open spot here. Break that road there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this road come down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do something like that. And if we look at the raw materials, can clay pits, clay pits have to go down this way a little bit. Okay, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. If I just put the prefecture and engineer's post right here, that should actually be fine. That should actually be great. Food should be your top priority. Don't build too many structures until you have food stored in your granary. We're, we're storing up food now. How's our employment? Uh, seven unemployed, which means I'm just going to go ahead and get more fruits, more wheat. Uh, we, we could go... Do we need two types of food on this mission? I don't think so. Let's go fruit. Let's go all out on fruit. That should feed people. People are disgruntled. We just crossed the two, uh, 200 mark. So I think if we try and get people happy by doing this and doing this, I don't know how to get people happy on very hard trying to get through this. If I go to small temple, we go to Venus, we can start getting some temples going. Venus, Mars. People are moving out. This is something that we experienced last time. Uh, Mercury. We'll just put all the temples in a nice little row here. Neptune. Actually, that, that's a bad way of doing things. <laughs> Neptune. And Ceres, which we'll put right here. We'll leave it like that for now. It gets desirability up. It gets desirability up. Uh, and this all, no employees live nearby, really? If these guys just walk that way, it should be... Uh, it's still not guaranteed access, is it? I guess we do need a couple houses there. All right, we'll, we'll get a couple houses there. So people are gonna be moving out here, I think. So these are functioning. Very good. So I know this road setup works for our industry. People should be... All the farms are working. Okay, that's good. We're gonna try get people in here. If we speed things along, you'll see we have this disgruntled population, which I'm not sure if we can get past. I'm playing 10 above Rome, and I think if I just try and get... Uh, where do, where's the... There we go. Let's hold a new festival for Venus. A large festival. Let's do that. Try and get Venus happy here. Venus is pleased. You know what? If I put another temple to Venus, will that actually help things out? It might. It might. If we can get a blessing from Venus. I want to see if I can get past this immigration block without lowering the difficulty on very hard. My first playthrough was on hard, right? It was, right? Ah. So let's see if we can get past things. <laughs> What's our employment like? We're a little short on food production. Okay. That's not a problem. We can... Do we want to get a market going already? There's the festival to Venus. Fantastic. All right, so we we are on 0% taxes, 10 above Rome, and we're going to try get a blessing from Venus. I don't know if we can actually do that. We've got an extra temple to Venus. But people are still moving out. If I speed things along, I, I want to see... They're all, they're all exalted. There's two temples to Venus. 
Is it... How do you get past this block? We're short on some workers. We are feeding people. There we go. We dropped below people disgruntled. Yeah. One unemployed workforce. We got it up to 300. These need entertainment, right? If I put a theater, right? Venus sends a feeling of goodwill to your city. It lifts the mood of all your citizens. Fantastic. Let's try to get that down. Uh, actor colony can go on over there as well. That's actually a terrible place for it. Actor colony will go over here. Employees needed. Okay. So we got a feeling of goodwill. Blessing. That's going to bring more people in. And once we get to 500 people, we're actually going to be okay. Uh, so let's start putting things down. Baths can go right... Here. And... All the gods are okay. And there we go. We can actually get past it. You gotta send a... a throw a festival for Venus. There we go. Now we can get rid of that extra temple. Uh, and we can start focusing on exports now that people are moving in. Raw materials, clay pit, we're gonna need... Ooh, I could actually make this work by doing this. If I do that and move this prefecture... Prefecture, Engineer's Post. This shouldn't be too long. Can I actually get a dock right here? Because that would actually be... I can. Oh, okay. So this Prefecture and Engineer's Post, we will move over a bit. The dock can actually eventually go here, unless I need to shift it over somewhere else. We're going to have this road do that. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll have the Prefecture... Engineer's post. I hope this road is not too long. One, two... We could shorten it by doing that. Just to make sure things are secure. Raw materials. What are our trade routes? This is a land... Open a trade route. It should be a land trade route. This should be the sea trade route. So we want to start selling pottery. Raw materials. Clay pit. Let's get this going. We can go one... Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Play pit. Uh, get out of the way, please. So those guys are going to walk down that way. Four clay pits. Uh, sounds a bit excessive. Workshop. Pottery. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to need a warehouse right here. Set to accepting nothing but pottery. That looks good. What has collapsed? Wait, what? Oh, I blocked the road to Rome. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's, um, how, why was that blocking the road to Rome? You know what? Let's just open this up. I hate how these trees actually block the road to Rome. Look at that. That one tree could be blocking things. Okay, let's just make sure that actually stays up there okay now we should be able to put this warehouse back down and that workshop actually I, I i should actually be able to have that workshop there wait what why did you delete my aqueduct can you can you just can you just not <laughs> why did it do that how, how is this blocking the road to rome jeez it's okay we can recover from that Everyone, move back in. Come on, come on, back in, back in. Did these houses lose all their food, really? Market, let's get another market. Everyone, move back in, come on. Don't, 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 we didn't kick you out. <laughs> uh, why did it delete my aqueduct? What a weird thing to delete. Uh, anyway, how is our employment? Uh, 40 unemployed workforce, which means we can continue to build things here. Senate can go right
there. That's fine. Uh, what else can we put down? We can put down a forum. Just make sure everyone is actually taxed. We're in debt right now. Do we get some free money on this mission? I think we do. Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Uh, we got plenty of money. Plenty of money. <laughs> Alright. Uh, all of these should... No employees live nearby. Oh, because of this road here. Uh, I guess I have to, right? Just for security, I'm gonna put those there. Fire and damage should be okay. Oh, it's not quite okay down here. We'll just make sure it is. Okay. I hate scattering houses like that, but uh, I'm too lazy to move the road. <laughs> All right, let's get all of this moving on. Uh, if these guys walked down this way, it would have been okay. But these guys are walking up this way, and then it's kind of weird. The terrain makes it a little bit complicated, but it's okay. Uh, more people are moving in. Six unemployed workforce. So I think we should be able to support another couple workshops here. That should... Four, yeah, eight workshops to four... Clay pits, that should be good. Uh, to keep people moving in, we can have a row of gardens just pop down there. Like that. That looks good. These guys need basic educational facilities, so we can just go ahead and pop a school down. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to cover everything. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Fire and damage looks okay. Water is all looking okay. Let's let the school children out. Do they cover the whole block? If not, we can always just put down another school. It doesn't quite cover the whole block. That's fine. We'll put another school right there. Some gardens right there. You know, after seeing the gardens in things like Emperor and Pharaoh, the gardens in Caesar 3 really could do with some work. It's sort of this ugly pink that they, they've put there. <laughs> not the best, not the best. <laughs> ah, Nanotox925 in chat says... Oh, a disease. Wow. Says... Uh, did I... I forgot... People like to be healthy. All right. Yeah, look at that. Their houses just burn down. Um, doctors. Let's get a doctor down. This, this is why I hate scattering houses, but I guess it's that's going to be essential for now. Uh, Nanotox925 says, made a map, oh, his own map a while ago. Would love to see you try it one day. You can send the file over. You can send the file over. Um, I wouldn't mind checking it out once I get through the campaign again. Let's keep going. Pottery is starting to come in. Fantastic. We can start. We can just open up the trade route. And we're going to sell anything above eight units. All right, that's going to be our source of income. It seems like a lot of pottery is coming in. I'm not sure if we have too many. Do we have too many? A thousand people. Would you look at that? 24% unemployment. What else can we put down? Uh, oh, we do actually have statues on this mission. That's good. Governor's house, governor's villa, governor's palace. I don't... I mean, I could put these down, but I'm not gonna. Um, amphitheater? We could just get things going here. Gladiator school can go right there. Food supply is looking a little low, so let's go ahead and put down more... fruit farms. Get that going. Uh, are there any problems? No. This disease is slowly dissipating, which is good. Uh, what's the... Coverage okay? That should be fine. Speed things along again. We could have a warehouse. Oh, we kind of need a warehouse over here. Is there actually room right here? I think there is. I'm going to move the... Actor colony over and move the warehouse. I'll put a warehouse right here set to getting pottery. With this mission, we're gonna be able to show this off. 
These houses collapsed, no problem. We still have 16% unemployment, so I'm not gonna rebuild the houses quite yet. Not quite yet. Desirability is a problem there. How are the gods feeling? They're indifferent. Venus is pleased, that's good. Look at how much pottery is coming in now. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Academy, library, do I want to put these things down? I mean, I could. Yeah, sure, have a library. Why not? How's the food supply? The food supply is actually struggling, trying to feed all of these people. So, we just need tons of fruit, I think. That should take up some of the em employment as well. Now, there should be a card pusher coming. Oh, would you look at that? These gardens cannot touch these. <laughs> I did mention in the last mission, gardens can act as roads. So look at that. They're just sort of walking all the way through there. That is not, that's not good, is it? Um, we should probably be using statues more than anything, right? I'll get to that when we have more money. Uh, employment, unemployment is 12%. Plenty of stuff coming in here. I suppose we could put down the dock while we're at it. And what is our immediate goal right now? Is at today's oh, right. We can just check here. Prosperity, 10 needed. Culture's fine. Peace. That's just a time limit, right? Prosperity, yeah. So as people have moved in, we can now set up some other industries. I could set up a... How do I want to do this? A cart's returning from a delivery. Where, where is he? Where's the card pusher getting... Oh, there we go. There we go. We've gotten some pottery over on this side so we can start providing that pottery. So now we need to set up a oil industry, I think. Which I guess we could have... How do I want to do this? If I just build a loop here... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. We could have this. One, two, three, one, two, three. We could just have a simple block here. We're gonna need a couple of houses, prefecture, engineer's post, olives. And then we could have workshop, oil, And be a bit more efficient than that. Right there. And then we'll have the warehouse stuck right there. Set to accepting just oil. We're gonna build up a stock of things. Uh, that should be... Actually, I could double this up if I... Yeah, have this road extend like that. Which should be fine. And we could have... Timber yards. Workshop furniture. One, two, three... Like that, those people have moved in, then we can have... <laughs> we spent all the money. <laughs> all the money has been spent. It's okay, we'll make it back, we'll make it back. I'm just expanding too quickly here. I'm gonna set this to accepting oil. I'm gonna set this to accepting furniture. And that's gonna use up all of that. Do employees live nearby? They should be. Alright. Good thing I just set this up. Why are these guys poor access to employees? They should be functioning, right? How are these guys not passing these houses? Prefecture, engineer's post, just... We'll move these over. We 
we can do that. Okay, are you guys bought one? Are we not selling enough? Or was it a new year? <laughs> All right, so these houses here have relatively evolved. Not received any food. Food is a bit of a problem here. Pottery, not so much. I think we just have too many people, right? All right, all right. Ah. Oh, look how many people are watching now. Ah, oh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Our money's gone back up. Prosperity is actually raising. Uh huh. What's our population? Two thousand five hundred. Okay. I probably should. Jeez, I hate that. Did I? I never forgot. <laughs> I forgot to drop our wages. I've been paying way too many wages, and I forgot to raise taxes. Uh... <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Uh, forgive me. I know I'm coming back into this playthrough experience, but I can still forget things. I'm not cutting anything out of this playthrough, so uh, you get to see all the mistakes as well as the successes. Now, this seems to be having a little bit of a problem. I think we need more, more farms, more food. I think so. Look at that, a bunch more money has come in, fantastic. That's gonna allow us to fund a bit of an expansion here. A one, two, three, one, two, three. This shouldn't be too big. And we can go Prefecture Engineer's Post. Farms, fruits. I don't know if that's going to be enough food, but we'll find out. That should help at least. If we can just get enough food, it'll be good. <laughs> I probably should put a market over on this side for the Destination Walker. But it's okay. Money seems to be going okay. Oil is coming in. How's our employment? Are we short on people? We're a little short. Not too concerned though. Furniture is going to start coming in as well. I probably need one, three to four. I probably have too many olive farms right now. Get rid of two of those, just for now. Okay, that should help solve some problems. So we're storing eight pottery over on this side. The rest of this stored over here can be sold. If this gets a bit low, it's sent on over. These things need furniture to evolve further. Uh, and meanwhile, just to make sure I don't make a mistake, I'm going to put small statues right there. And I'm not sure if food's going to stabilize here. Yeah? We might be able to over time. Food production, employment is doing fine. I just need to make sure this stabilizes. God's unhappy. Ooh, geez, I forgot about that. Uh, Ceres is the most angry, so let's just uh, hold a festival for Ceres. We have the money, so just go ahead and have that. We're gonna need more temples, not a problem. We'll just build one more to each. Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. There we go. That should keep the gods happy. Food supply, it seems to be okay, right? It's starting to, to feed. One of these houses can hold how much food? 500? Like, up to 600 food in a single house, is it? Or 500 something. So these houses are hard to feed because they just need so much food, but I think food will start stockpiling here. We have nine units of oil. And we can start bringing in more people again. Get these evolved. Uh, I'm gonna put a large statue right here. Because it looks nice. And how is health? Health, clinics, Coverage is fine. Not a problem there. So, all right. Things are going well. If I wanted to sell 
Uh, this is a water trade route, I'm pretty sure. If I wanted to sell that stuff, I'm gonna need to bring it over to this side. And I'm not sure if there's gonna be a good way to do that, but it's okay. We have 10... Two months to comply, let's dispatch that oil. Furniture's coming in. Uh, <laughs> series destroys all the crops, it's okay. Food just about stabilized, so that's fine. Uh, this warehouse, I'm gonna set it to get furniture as well. Get those houses evolved even further. All this is looking good. Water does cover all of that. Looking good, looking good. Those houses should evolve. These houses, a little bit of desirability is a problem. That doesn't really look that great. Uh, got that, uh, that festival going. Medium statue, maybe that's enough. Do we have enough to plaza? We have money, we could just plaza up this block. 700, that's a bit expensive. Let's do a bit first. Get these houses evolved. Food's looking good. Look at oh, oh, look at that. Because of the series' curse, we actually <laughs> synced up our food supply a bit. All right, so that's looking okay. This is now Cart returning from a delivery. I think he's over here getting furniture? No? Is he going off to get more pottery, maybe? There we go. That's going to raise our favor. Peace. 20 needed. Prosperity is 15. Culture is 47. So now we just kind of need to get our population up and uh, get the population up and then it's just time. So we could speed things along a little bit here. Series boost the fertility. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, temples are all the same, so that's fine. I don't think I need to, to sell these resources here. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Because uh, furniture's finally come over here, that's good. Since food has stabilized, I'm gonna get rid of one farm here. Put another warehouse right here. And this one is gonna be getting furniture and oil. Yeah, that makes sense. So furniture's in, these houses have evolved, they need a barber to evolve further. Let's give them a barber right there. Uh, and just to make sure access is stabilized, I'll put a second barber over on that side. More money has come in. Let's go ahead and plaza up the rest of this block. Up to the granary, that looks good. Uh, I like this block, this block's looking good. Could fit another couple houses right there. Unemployment's coming back in, so I guess we... Do we want to boost up anything? How are our sales of pottery? I think we're selling max every year. These need supply of oil to evolve further. Oil is over on this side. There we go, large insulates. Get all of those evolve, please. Ah, fantastic. Some of these, uh, I hate it when this happens. Where some of these houses, like they could combine, but they're not quite combining. Uh, these uh, would expand. Ah, in this case, we can demolish this middle house, which will allow these to expand into two big ones. There we go, very nicely done there. All right, and this is looking good. And I think we just have to squeeze in as many houses as possible. So let's go ahead and try and get that going. We'll just squeeze two in there. We can squeeze a row of houses on the back of that, no big deal. I could make things a bit more efficient, actually, if I move that, demolish that, move the amphitheater over to this side. Then we could... We don't need all these temples here, do we? How many are housed in one of these? 84? So if I remove some of these temples, let's say... Venus and Mars, we could fit more houses over here. And we'll just move those temples. Uh, Venus and Mars, you get extra temples over here or something. 
Uh, that guy is rioting, probably because unemployment is a problem. Hospital, you... I don't think we need a hospital, but you know what? Let's have a hospital. <laughs> uh, how's our culture rating? Culture rating is gonna drop, so let's see. We just need to do more theaters, more schools. We don't have an academy. We could use this area back here for this sort of stuff. Have more theaters. You know what? Put a theater right there. And we're gonna put a school right here. We'll, we'll educate the farmers. We'll educate and entertain the farmers. Ah, Lord Pekka says, too clean. I liked my gargantuan slum approach to this mission more. Well, I don't think we're gonna be doing any gargantuan slums this time around. <laughs> Now we could go ahead and decorate a few things here. Um, let's go ahead and put down some medium statues to make things look a little nicer. We could do this, we could do this. Um, so we could go to medium statue. So it looks a little bit better. I, I don't mind using some gardens. Uh, large statue, you know what? Uh, no, let's, let's go medium statue right there. Clear off some of these trees right there. Put a large statue right back here. It doesn't really align with anything. Let's go medium statues. I'm gonna have some garden sort of... level out. And... Ah, oh, that really doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> oh, we don't have any water over here. Uh, let me just squeeze in a reservoir. Get a fountain on. That should cover everything, right? Get a fountain on down there. Are all the other houses covered by water? Yeah, it should be okay. Large statue. Speed up, get out of the way. Large statue. And for decoration, I'm going to use fountains. Look at that. <laughs> That's how you do it. And then we can fill up the rest with gardens. No, that, that last one doesn't look good. Not like we're short on uh, unemployment. More people are moving and we need another 800 people. That looks good. Can't quite get all these uh, fountains evolved to the highest level, but it's okay. It's okay. I think what's throwing it off is this medium statue right there. So if I change that to a house, at least the rows are the same. <laughs> Look at that. I've never used fountains as decoration because it's inefficient. Fountains do take people, right? If you see here, fountains, water services do actually take people. It's not efficient, but it looks good. I like it. Um, this, I'm gonna set this to getting pottery. And I'm gonna set this to export, just to make sure things are stable. 16 units. Then we speed things along. Why aren't these houses evolving? Some entertainment, but not enough. What? What entertainment are you not having? Ah, okay. Couple of houses on the back there, not quite evolving. I'll just get rid of them. It'll evolve up in no time at all. We'll let people move in. Unemployment of 11%. Ah. We've reached 2,000 people though. Did it. Gorbin Hagen says, the brown fount fountain basins are my favorite. You mean these ones? Yeah, they look really nice. I think it it looks so much nicer than the Max one, which is this big, tall, fat fountain thing. <laughs> these, these look really nice. I like these. These are also okay. But I do like these as well. 
So 2,000 people are in. Prosperity must be off the charts. Oh well, off the charts for what we need. Uh, I guess we gotta start spamming some things around here. Let's get libraries down. Let's get schools down. Let's get a cat. How much money are we spending? We're spending quite a bit of money here. Gotta wait for more things to sell. I, it's probably because I increased that. So that's gonna... Perfect, good, perfect, okay. More academies could work. More theaters and amphitheaters might help as well as population goes up. We just need to raise our population. Uh, that house there can't get water. Can I make this any more efficient? I suppose I could get rid of one more temple. No problem. Have the oil. That house there. You know what? We'll give you a fountain. If I... Move this temple to Neptune. I know, I know. We'll make the money back, don't worry. Replace that with a house. Population is rising. X room for 64, 37, 49. We should actually have enough space for 6, for 48, for 50. Yeah, we should have enough space with that especially to get all the people we need. So, Rome increased the cost of goods. Okay, I'm not exporting that, so I don't really care. Um... Unemployment is still coming in. Let's put down another academy right here. How many academies do we need? Another one? Sure. Let's educate this industrial area. Three academies. We gotta wait for them to start working. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Culture is 56. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we're killing this. So, favor... Send a gift. I forgot about this. Dispatch a lavish gift. 43. So now we just need to wait for peace to raise up and make sure nothing falls apart. Yeah, we'll keep this at maximum speed, waiting for things to move in. We're at 2,200. Got plenty of room for more people. They're slowly coming in. And I think we got it. Can we get a quick zoom in on the fountains, please? Uh, you can't zoom on this. Are there tax collectors? Yes. There's a forum and they come out of the Senate as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to... I got a dump. Oh, the gods. <laughs> Good thing I don't have any sea trade routes, yeah? Uh, Neptune is upset. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Series. Uh, Neptune. Uh, Mercury. Mars. And Venus. I gotta be careful about blocking the road to Rome here. Let's clear off these trees. No, no, that doesn't look good. Let's just make sure there's a break right there. Venus. I was about to block the road to Rome, I think. <laughs> there we go. Any other gods are gonna be cursing us, I'm not too sure. Population's getting up there. Fruit. That's a bit of a pain. Um, except fruits there. How much time do we have? 12 months? Okay, if that's the case. We'll get rid of this academy. We'll have another fruit farm right here. We'll just use up this space that we actually already have and set this to accepting fruit and accepting fruit. That should get us the fruit we need for that request. Population is inching closer. Money is not a problem. 
Are there still, still room for extra people? We just have to wait for people to move in, which isn't a problem because you have to wait for peace to get there. And when was the last time I sent a gift? 13 months. Dispatch a generous gift. Favor 56. This uh, supply of fruit should do it, right? Nine months to comply. We ran out of... Our card is returning from a delivery. Why, why is one... I think I need another storage yard. Warehouse, just set that there. We're gonna set this to just accepting fruit, shall we? So, we can keep this clean. Not accepting fruit. Not accepting fruit. Go back to, nope, not getting, accepting. There we go. And this one is, yeah, that's fine. How much time do we have? Eight months to comply, yeah. This is gonna be fine. Seven. Fulfilling this request should get us the favor rating we need to win this mission. Let's dispatch that. And population is... Ooh, look at that. We're just 50 away or 51 away. Culture's fine. Prosperity is good. Peace should be fine. It's 24. It's 20 now. Favor will come through with this gift of fruit. And it looks good. Looks good. And we should be winning once we... Did we lose people? How did that happen? Um, can I make this area any more efficient? Honestly, the Senate shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's move the Senate. And we can solve our population problem by doing that. And we'll move the Senate to somewhere else. Can I get it to fit there if I move? that and that and put the senate right here oh no no let's undo that i box them in i box them in let's not do that i could just have it here i think senate. right there there we go and i think i deleted a temple to neptune Okay. Let's get some people moving in, shall we? We'll continue with our fountain decorations. Looks good. Come on, 2,500. Just a little more, just a little more. And... All ratings are fine, right? Peace, favor, prosperity. Gods are pleased. Come on, five more people. Almost, almost. Did it, did it. Ah, this mission took just under an hour, but it was good, it was good. There we go, victory. Caesar has promoted you to the rank of architect. Let's accept promotion. Your management skills impress me. Many governors' careers end when I call upon them to build their first real colony. Leaders like you assure Rome's destiny. Now, can you repeat your success? Or was that luck? Perhaps it was luck. Perhaps it was sheer, pure skill. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of this mission. And I'm going to bring it to a close here. Hope you had fun with that. Thank you all so much for joining here on Twitch. Pui UCS, Pharaoh himself, MG Frags, 045 Lao, Super Sajuk, Nisimble, Tando, Siachi Ching, 888 Clerken. 
and everyone else in chat. There's so many of you. Hyena, Cupcake, 12. I'll be back with more Caesar 3. But for now, if you want to check out more Caesar 3 city building stuff, you can join Discord over at discord.gg slash GamerZack. You can buy the GamerZack city building logo t-shirt, which is available over at Designed by Humans. Don't mind me just undressing on stream. <laughs> and if you guys are subscribers on Twitch, you can watch all of this in the archive that's available uh, for you guys. Uh, that was fun, that was fun. I'm looking forward to go through, go through all these missions with new block designs, new stuff, new take on everything. Face cam, widescreen, looks great. All right, that's gonna be it for now. Zerardor, thank you so much for joining. Tandersia, alert VS. Lord Pekka. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!